And we have two more contenders battling it out in the Battle of the Kawashes! <laughs> And today's Battle of the Co-Washes video is going to be slightly different, but I explain about that later on. I just wanted to jump in real quick and say thank you so much to everybody who's been really enjoying this series. It's been so much fun taking two conditioners and comparing them side by side to see how they perform as co-washes. The two co-washes that I am testing out are the, the Acure Argon Oil Mega Moisture and Pumpkin Conditioner. I didn't say that in the right order, but you know what I'm talking about. And the Acure Curiously Clarifying Lemongrass and Argon Conditioner. I was amazed at how well both of these performed and if you're curious to see how both of them compare side by side then just keep watching and if you would please subscribe and hit that notification bell I am loving getting to hang out with you guys and I would really really love to have y'all around for some more videos and if you could please hit that thumbs up button if you're finding this series fun and enjoyable it would really mean a lot to me and Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we are, over my dub, once again. And I really love demoing each time I can the process in which I use these products. I think it's really helpful to have a visual. I'm a visual learner, I find it helpful. Okay, so I'm grabbing a fairly generous amount of product and I find that when I co-wash, it is pretty essential for me to part my hair kind of in the middle and apply conditioner to the middle of my scalp because conditioners don't distribute through your hair quite like a low poo or a regular shampoo would. So to get a really good clean, that is very helpful. Also adding small amounts of water to your hair while you're gently scrubbing or firmly scrubbing your scalp with the pads of your fingers will really, really, really help the conditioner almost foam up a little bit. These conditioners didn't foam up quite as much as the Giovanni conditioners, but they foamed up a little bit. Now I'm just taking my scalp brush and giving my scalp a really good scrub in. Tell you what, by this point, I've tried several different scalp brushes and they all like hurt my scalp, except for this one. This one is just magical. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just right. It doesn't hurt me. And that's the goal, right? Like let's not hurt ourselves while we wash our hair. Okay. Okay. Now I am really scrubbing my hair while I rinse that dirty conditioner out. I'm like rubbing the pads of my fingers on my scalp to really make sure that all that dirty conditioner is rinsed off. And now I'm grabbing some clean conditioner and re-raking that through my hair. By dirty, I just mean that it's picked up some of the grease and nastiness off of my scalp. And by putting clean conditioner in the links of my hair, I'm now like theoretically conditioning my hair. Because it's a co-wash. All right. You can see that it kind of foamed up a little bit when I use the wet brush to distribute it through my hair very evenly. Did a really quick little squish to condish, and now I am rinsing out all that clean conditioner. Remember, these are rinse out conditioners. They're not designed to be left in because their pH is too okay. low. Okay, so here are my dry results from washing my hair with the Acure Argon and Pumpkin Conditioner. Yes, it's so much fun still washing my hair with conditioner. And I know my hair looks way different than when I used the Acure um, Curiously Clarifying Conditioner. I cheated a little bit. I just was really wanting waves today. My hair is still 100% product free. The only thing I used today was the Acure Conditioner but my application was a little different. And I think this is really, really fun because it demonstrates the importance of your application. So with the Acure Curiously Clarifying Conditioner, I ran a wet brush through my hair and like smoothed everything straight and forward and upside down. 
And then I put in a turby twist while my hair was like all smoothed straight and dried it a little bit that way. And then when I took the turby twist off, I gave my hair a really good shake to kind of get everything unstuck. And so everything was kind of straight and smooth when I used the Acura Curiously Clarifying. And you could see how smooth and straight my hair was in that moment. Now today, all I did differently, I still used the wet brush, I still ran it through my hair and whatnot, but then I did a really good squish to condition, and my clumps were just looking too pretty. They were looking too good to go ahead and smooth back down. So I kept my clumps, then I plopped with the t-shirt and wandered around for a little bit, let that sit on my hair, and then I realized I'm running late. And because I was running late, I didn't want to leave the house with soaking wet, clumpy hair, <laughs> like sort of curly, sort of wavy, so I diffused. And yeah, so these are my product-free waves when I plop and diffuse. Let me show you. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the best my hair has ever looked product free. I'm like super excited. And you can see just how clean my hair looks. Everything is looking very, very nice. And of course, I've really kicked up my running lately. So I'm running every day. <laughs> and so basically I ran this morning, had nasty, sweaty, very sticky two day hair that had been worked out in twice and had a lot of product in it. And now this is my product free hair that I'm going to run around for the rest of the day with. But anyway, I'm also getting a haircut today. So sadly, I will not be able to test out this conditioner the way I tested out the Curiously Clarifying Conditioner. Okay, so I am showing you my wash day results with the Acure curiously clarifying lemongrass and argon conditioner. So here's what my hair is looking like. Guess what? I went for a run this morning. So my hair was really good and sweaty when I busted out this co-wash. We're really putting it to the test. My scalp feels clean. My hair doesn't feel or look greasy. It is feeling very balanced and my fingers are running through it very easily. Nothing is catching or snagging. Let me show you the back. Woo, about to fall off my chair. Uh, tell you what, I'm really loving just co-washing for summer. Like not styling my hair, just running around with big beachy wild kind of wonky wavy hair this has been a look i've been enjoying it for the summer so anyway uh so far i'm really impressed this did not foam up quite like the giovanni conditioners did i was really shocked at how much the giovanni conditioners foamed up but i did get a small tiny little suds i guess and yeah so pretty clean pretty happy about it here we are, day two, big, just out of the overnight pineapple hair. Let's check how it's looking. Whoa, it's actually looking really good. Like maybe less greasy than previous co-washes I've tried. And I've been, it's been hot, I've been sweating. This is interesting. My fingers are still going through it really nice and easy. I do think I need a haircut because there are, I can touch and feel that the ends of my hair are beginning to become unhappy. Um, but, I mean, it has been a while. So overall, I'm really, really happy with how clean my hair is staying with the Acure Curiously Clarifying Lemongrass and Argon Conditioner. And I just really love the smell of lemongrass. 
Oh, yes. I love the smell of that. Let me see. The smell has completely left my hair, but all right, that is it for the Acura Curiously Clarifying Lemongrass and Argon Conditioner. I will be testing another Acura conditioner right next to it to see how well it co-washes my hair. Just know that I have tested this conditioner off camera, the Acura Argon and Pumpkin. My hair acts exactly the same as it did with the Acura Curiously Clarifying conditioner. The Acura Curiously Clarifying conditioner left my hair so, so, so clean for two days, and I was shocked by that. This Argon version of the Acura conditioner, my hair was slightly greasy, slightly on day two, but anyway, just know that I'm really excited about these product free waves. I felt like it'd be fun in this video to highlight the differences between styling techniques. All right. I sure hope this video was helpful to you and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.